Okay, all sensors have error. Today we're going to look at how to use multiple sensor in order to eliminate this error. So I have a compass sensor here, and of course I have an onboard sensor. Now a couple extra things I've added is a couple of buttons for input, and I've also added a serial output here, so I can graph the data coming off the sensors um, in an Arduino plotter on my PC. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of an idea of what data actually comes out of both of these. So I have a simple program that just basically opens our serial port, sends the gyro data and the compass data, waits a short period of time, goes around, sends the next one, waits a short period of time, goes around. That allow me to graph it in the Arduino plotter. Okay, now here's the output we're getting on the Arduino plotter. You'll notice that the um, gyro is saying zero, but the compass is saying nearly 180 degrees from north. That's because the gyro counts zero from wherever it starts up, and the compass always reads from where the um, magnetic north is. So if I shift both of these, they both move, but this here's moved up to a little bit past zero degrees, and this here's moved up a little bit past 180 degrees. So what we need to do is we need to make them both show at the same height by offsetting the gyro. Now is I'm going to correct the gyro so that it's going to be reading the same reading as the compass. So instead of it being zeroed from where it's turned on, it's going to be zeroed to the same direction the compass is zeroed at, i.e. north. So to do that, I have a variable. I take what direction the compass is facing when I first start up. And what happens in this forever loop, I'm going to set my, my variable called gyro corrected to the gyro reading plus the offset. Now, if it's gone around past 360, I then just need that minus 360 off it, okay? Because when you do a full 360 circle, you come back to zero. And then I'm going to, this time, instead of printing the gyro, I'm going to print gyro corrected and then also the compass direction. Okay, the red line is the compass and the blue line is the gyro. You'll notice that the compass actually gives you quite a noisy signal that it vibrates around, but the average of that vibration will be dead perfect. You notice just while I'm talking here, the blue line, which is the gyro, is very stable, but you'll notice although this isn't moving at all, you notice that the blue line is actually slowly drifting off course. That's what's known as gyro drift. So the blue line, the gyro, is very stable in the short term, but in the long term, it drifts off. Whereas the compass is very unstable in the short term, but if I left this here for two days, this compass would still just create the perfect direction. You can see if we move him at all, the two follow each other, it's just that the, um, the, the gyro has drifted off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to correct the drift in the gyro using the compass direction. What I'm going to get it to is each loop around, just correct the, gy the gyro trend towards the average of the compass. So same thing, we're going to take our initial offset to be the direction of the compass. We're going to go around this forever loop. Each time I'm going to set gyro corrected to the um, gyro plus the offset. I'm going to take the compass direction, and then I'm going to see what's the difference between the compass direction and the gyro uh, corrected direction. That will give me the error. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my offset slightly by the offset plus a very small amount times the error. So adding this little bit each time around would just means that we'll slightly trend in the direction of the compass. And then again, if the corrected is more than 360, I just simply minus 360 off it. And I'm going to print gyro corrected and print compass directed, wait 0.3 of a second and go around. So this time what you should find is that this gyro corrected, instead of drifting off, it will have a tendency to always drift towards the average of the compass direction. All right, here's my result. So you can see that the compass still wiggles around a lot, but the gyro wants to have a fairly good average in the center. If I come over here and I move him, you find that even when I move him around, that now I get a fairly stable gyro that's not drifting off. 
See, even when he got, when I did a big bit there and he moved off quite a way, very quickly he drifted back to the average of the compass. He doesn't wiggle around like the compass and we get a more stable reading, but it tends to be somewhere around always staying with the average of the compass. It doesn't wiggle around like the compass, but stays accurate in the long term of the compass. If I left that there for two days, you'd find that that blue line would still be in the center of that compass in a nice stable heading. So that's how we get rid of gyro drift. We're gonna correct the gyro to trend towards the average compass.